Hiro Mashima. Really, bro? Really? This chapter of Fairy Tale, like, it's chapters like this it is exactly why Fairy Tale gets such a bad rep and why Fairy Tale fans always gotta explain shit about it and, you know, why we enjoy it, etc., etc. Because it's like, this chapter was softcore porn. That's exactly what it was. This was softcore at, at its finest. No, not even at its finest, excuse me. Because, like, nobody wants to see the lowly shit with Wendy. Nobody wants to see not suing Gray's abs. Nobody wants to see none of that. And then it's just the entire chapter is, damn, Erza's tits is really big. Damn, Lucy's tits is really big. And it's not even them saying it. It's just that that's all you get out of the chapter. Them talking meaningless shit. Yeah, the words of the guild and all this other shit. And then it's just like back to, oh, man, Lucy got a nice body. Ooh, look at Erza's giant tits. They're getting bigger. It's like, what the fuck, bro? Like, the only progression we got in the chapter is we find out that Tartarus got the Book of Xeroth. It's like a Bible to them, and that they worship demons and whatnot, which is ironic from what we've seen thus far. It seems as though at least Silver has Demon Slayer magic, so they worship demons that they want to slay. Maybe Silver is undercover, I don't know. Maybe that's Guildarts' younger brother or some shit, because he looks just like him. But aside from that, it's like the entire chapter is softcore porn, and I ain't gonna front. I love seeing Erza and Lucy's body and whatnot, but that's not what a chapter should be. There should be some shit going on, and then, yeah, if you want to throw a little fan service here or there, then fine, by all means, go for it. But when the entire chapter is just, like, meant to give you a rock-hard boner, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, yo, the, the latest chapter of Naruto ain't have too much going on for it. It's been a, a slow pace, but at least Kishimoto ain't relying on Sakura's tits to get us by. <laughs> okay, let me stop with that Sakura with tits. Get, get the fuck out of here. But seriously, like, what in the hell? Who wants to see Warred rubbing water on his fucking old-ass body? Like, I, I can't believe what I just read this chapter. It's like, what? Lucy looks fine. Erza looks fine. But we don't need an entire chapter where they're just spouting out shit that we already know and them just in the water. Was it meant to be funny? I guess. Did I get rid of any laughs? No, because I just felt unusually... <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying, basically. The only progression this chapter gives is the fucking acceleration of a boner. At the end, when Natsu beat the shit out of Erza, she's laying down doggy style, all fucked up on the head! Like, <laughs> I can't believe Hiromashi was going this far. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I think maybe he feels like he captured the perfect market by doing shit like this because people just get so enticed and they're just like, oh yeah, Lucy, oh yeah, Erza, oh. And then I guess he was trying to cater to the other creeps as well, the creeps that want the lowlies, the man service, and any creeps that want to look at old men with trees for heads. Overall, the progression of this chapter, because at least if we would have got some big plays in the chapter, some big revelations, some progression, some character development or something, it would have made for some good stuff, but really, the only thing we got is that Lucy, Erza, Wendy, and all them, they found out that Warred was originally, you know, with fairy tale and whatnot, and they find out that the Book of Xeroth is in the hands of Tartarus. That's all that we got out of this chapter, and then other than that, it's just a bunch of tits and ass. And I love tits and ass as much as the next man. I don't mind seeing a nice pair of jugs. Erza and Lucy, like, you know, it's great, but it should not be the focus and the focal point of the chapter. I shouldn't have to be thinking about fapping while I'm reading fairy tale. This is why the manga gets such a bad rep. It's stuff like this. It's like, save this for the OVA, save it for your dojin, save it for whatever you want, hero. But this shouldn't be the focal point of a chapter. It just shouldn't. I didn't get a laugh. If anything, I felt like this was just a waste of a chapter. We got barely any information. And it just didn't even entertain me. It was just like giving me a fucking boner while I'm reading Fairy Tale. I guess the big question is who has bigger jugs, Erza or Lucy? And any of you Warred Dojin fans out there, you're fucking sick. That's really all I have for this rant right here because I just couldn't believe my eyes with this chapter. This chapter gets like a 2 out of 10 from me. It was just borderline terrible. It was, I, I couldn't believe like that Hero passed this off as a standard chapter. Good shit as far as for fan service, but where's the actual substance? Where's the stuff that I can say, ooh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next? Just finding out that they have the Book of Zero, which you could have just made that assumption anyway. It's not a big fucking deal. It's not a big revelation or anything. Doesn't make a chapter at all when you just have the focal point of them talking about speeches, about, yeah, fairy tale, the stars in the night. That's not enough to make a chapter. Well, that's all I have for this rant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you love the chapter, I'm sorry, but I had to keep it real with how I felt about this chapter. It was entertaining in the sense of, yeah, there's cool fan service, but it just didn't provide anything other than that. And it just feels like this is exact reason why fairy tale gets all the flack that it does. It's because of this. I'm for that world, and as always, people, have a rock hard day.